Many hours ago, daylight had drawn a comforter over the world. The sketch pad of the heavens was alive in muted tones, light and dark. From the shadows, stars echoed their nocturnal chorus, soothing the crescent moon as she rose in the east. Starlight voices increased their intensity to a wispy chant. This could be the night. This could be the night. The moon's face possessed a beauty that everyone adored, yet only another heavenly body could love. Innocence and radiant, this virgin moon captivated the celestial audience with her passionate lunar light and presence. Unaware of the romantic lunacy she created, the moon began transcending the curve of the sky to her final destination in the west. The North Star strained against the terminal horizon. His guiding light, a beacon to mariners and explorers for ages, now marked determination in the twilight sky. Watching with a tinkle of jealousy, the North Star envied the rising sun, which was not yet visible on the eastern horizon. Lunar features skinny dipped upon the edge of the world, the silhouettes waltzed to a final dance by the sea. The moon shone so bright, she was about to say goodbye for yet another lovely evening. A flash of light so pure, so intense, shot like Cupid's arrow from the east to the west, caressing her cheek, eliciting a blush. The sun mischievously began his rise. The moon's coy expression left no doubt that lunar love had set in her heart tonight. With the stardust in her eyes, she fades into the west like a fairy queen whose magic had ended for the night. It was that fleeting moment, a love affair between morning and night. That's when the sun kissed the moon. You're listening to the King Minion Music Podcast. Today on Episode 7 of the King Minion Music Podcast, music from... More. Fiona MacMahone. The Gardens of Cyrus. Emily Spiller. Shane Morkin. Postcards from Veronica. Alice and Bjorn. The Honey Wilders. Punky's Gut Bucket. The Pond Hawks and 1 AM Project. Now, here is the host, the 51st card in the musical deck, King Minion. Welcome, welcome, all. Oh, I just love that. King Minion and the Sun Closet Band. Ooh, yeah. Well, after a brief episode of losing my voice, and partially got it back now, welcome to the lucky episode number seven. We have a cornucopia of new emerging music artists on today's show, and I am happy with the connections made on Twitter, Facebook, and Reverb Nation. Artists from all genres are welcome and encouraged to be on the show. I happened upon a quote this week that I found most interesting. It is from the Taoist master Lu, and I quote, If you add value to the universe, universe will reward it by creating more potential in your life to add yet more value. In this way, terrestrial beings may manifest personal power. I feel the same way about music and the creative musicians and guests on the podcast. Perhaps this show is adding value to the musical universe. The musical universe reward is enjoying artists all around the world that leads to networking, enhanced creativity, and assuring of the music hegemony. Time we want shooting stars, 
But now, when I look up, I can feel you, I can't see you anymore. you 
from Toronto, Ontario, Canada. That was more and their song Bring You Back. I would be remiss as a host if I did not say this song has shades of the moody blues running through the tune. Bring You Back is from their latest album, Contrast, which can be downloaded on Melodic Revolution Records and CD Baby. Moore's first album, Out There, is available as an album download. I bought both albums, and for fans of melodic rock, King Minion highly recommends you check this band out. Moore is another example of the creative talent hidden from most music lovers' ears. There is a new music explosion in Canada. Moore is front and center of the pack. Adrian, Igor, and Tyler are finally getting some well-deserved mainstream recognition for their music. They have some tour dates coming up in 2012 in Canada, Hungary, and Poland. Don't miss an opportunity to experience more live. I'm going to place a link on my blog to the biography and story of Moore. It is extensive, but very interesting read. Moore is on Reverb Nation, Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, and they have a very cool band website. Don't forget to check out their music videos on Reverb Nation. Creative scripted story within a story executed perfectly on their video, Lady of Lust. Poignant vocals, electroacoustic style, and astute musical arrangement. That is the artist Fiona McMahon and her song The Only One. 
Fiona is a singer-songwriter from Limerick, Ireland, living in Germany. Fiona is an experienced musician, having played with various bands throughout the years and toured solo in Europe and the U.S. She is presently working on new songs with Boris, who plays guitars and engineers the recordings. Visit Fiona on Reverb Nation, MySpace, and Facebook. There are free music downloads and videos on Reverb Nation, and you can purchase songs on CD Baby. Radio stations can get copies at Radio Submit. This is a new site that I have never seen. Very clear, Fiona, that you uh, have a clever way of promoting your emerging band. Check out this site for more Fiona's music. You're listening to the King Minion Music Podcast. Perhaps it is my age, or perhaps the years, of listening to so much great music. From the 1960s to the present day, there is something in a song that sticks with us for the rest of our lives. They become favorites, or classics. Some of the classic rock pop artists survive the test of time. Why is this? Perhaps the baby boomer generation is as unique as the Egyptian or Roman civilization. Okay, I heard that 20-somethings yell out the word ancient. Yes, point well taken. Seriously, the BBGs have witnessed and experienced so much change and so quickly that we cling to those songs of our youth that had a major impact upon our lives. Case in point, the number of bands and musicians on places like Reverb Nation and Bandcamp who are over the age of 45 and still rocking the tunes. They are the styles that we loved. As us older creative musicians continue to rock right into the chair, we intertwine and influence the new young emerging music talent. This, in my opinion, is part of the power of the indie musician of 2012. The do-it-yourself passion that ignited the music revolution in the 1960s. The major record companies really killed the passion in the music by the 1990s. Let us hope and pray that the emerging indie artists of today outwit the suits once more. There's something I should tell you. A wolf may be more than he seems. Is it up to you? Do what you do or is it overlooked by someone else?
Alien from a small town in Derbyshire, England, writing, performing, and producing original songs. The songs are from a large collection. Work is currently underway to record as many songs as possible. The Garden of Cyrus very much hopes that you enjoy these songs. The song we played was The Isles of Wolves. Brilliant production on all his recordings. It amazes me how great songs today can be produced. What I do enjoy about Isles of Wolves is how the Garden of Cyrus flirts with a very British 80s sound, yet pushes the envelope of musical territory by placing his own signature on the song. The Garden of Cyrus is on Reverb Nation Twitter. Music downloads can be found on Amazon and Digital 7. The other four songs on the Reverb Nation page are a great listen. This artist has a refreshing sound, and King Minion waits with him anticipation to hear more of his great music. At the start of autumn, it was early spring for you. I packed my suitcase and made a path across the blue. It took me three airplanes and a cab. I stopped for some cash and woke you up. Woke you up. Woke you up. Had to start at the bottom, shopping my skills and pay my dues. I packed my guitar, looked up at the stars in gratitude. It took me three airplanes and a cab. I stopped for some cash and woke you up. Woke you up. Woke you up. I'm back in a town. Warm and raining when I got back into town Back into town It was warm and raining when I got back into town Went with a whirlwind of words Bad Mr. and Mrs. Ashes precious and evening delicious with you There's a burst of a new world Back into town Warm and raining when I got back into town. Hey, hey. back into town. It was warm and raining. It was warm and raining when I got myself back up and into town. town, 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 town. Back into town. It was warm and raining when I got back into town. The start of autumn. It was early spring for you I packed my suitcase and made a path across the blue it took me three airplanes and a cab I stopped for some cash and woke you up, woke you up At the start at the bottom, shopping my skills and paying my dues I packed my guitar, looked up at the stars in gratitude It took me three airplanes and a cab I stopped for some cash and woke you up, and woke you up Back in a town It was warm and raining It was warm and raining When I got myself back up And in the town, 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 town I know you Like I said, I Look what King Minion found in his backyard. From Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, that was Emily Spiller and her song Back in Town. 
Remember the saying from the 80s, you go girl? Well, that is the perfect definition of Emily Spiller. Female Vocalist of the Year at the 2011 Vancouver Island Music Awards. She has been uh, had barely caught her breath from an Australian tour and showcase at the Canadian Music Fest in Toronto. With three releases on her own label, Beacon Hill Records, songs licensed to film and iPad apps, as well as radio airplay on two continents, M keeps herself very busy. She's a hint of Zap Mama and Feist meets Amy Winehouse. The room falls silent when Emily sings. Armed with a loop machine, laptop, and a microphone, she creates live layers on stage, blending elements of jazz, blues, and soulful harmonies, and a little beatbox thrown into the mix. She travels the globe as a one-woman show, spreading a message of love. Wonder Bro Remixes is her third and latest release. Music downloads available from her official website, and if you can't get enough of Emily, I found three songs on iTunes where she collaborated with the group Yuri Hani. That's U R I H A N I. There will be links on the uh, on the blog ca- on the the blog page for you. Emily can be found on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and Reverb Nation. Check her websites for shows near you, and she is touring right now. Emily Spiller is the quintessential musician who is creating a signature style all her own, drawing on the benchmarks of jazz, blues, and soul. Emily pushes the traditional music convention by adding creative digital technology to her recordings and live shows. What you hear from Emily Spiller's music and performance is the genesis of a new genre. The King Minion Music Podcast is available for free on iTunes Store or subscribe to the companion blog. Sometimes I'm so hungry I can see Sometimes I can only think of me And when you tell me what is on your mind Maybe I am not the listening kind Sometimes you love me and sometimes you don't Sometimes you want me to go Sometimes you hold me and sometimes you won't But baby I'm crazy about you
Wake up! It's time to go to work! I just love the creative ending on that song. That was Shane Morkin, Crazy About You. When I first heard this song, I played it again, then again, then again. I was hearing the tune in my sleep. Audio infectiousness, that's what I call it. But the band Shane Morkin from Denmark and their song Crazy About You is catchy. They are a pop rock folk band, yet I get chills and hear shades of the kinks in the song. I wonder if his visit to Canada in 2010 had anything to do with the music. You can find Shane Morkin on Reverb Nation and hear their other great songs. You're listening to the King Minion Music Podcast. As I travel around the World Wide Web in search of great musicians for the podcast, there are patterns and trends that I discover. I have noticed that on Reverb Nation there are some great musicians and even more stunning music from the countries in Europe. Many of these European musicians have under 500 fans. Perhaps MySpace is more popular in Europe, I'm not sure. If you have time and desire new music, go on Reverb Nation and search out those great European bands, and you can pick any country in Europe. The music in there is just truly gems that you will find. That was the song Coming Home by the Akron, Ohio band Postcard from Veronica. I've tried to educate myself on the new genres as hip-hop, trip-hop, and the list goes on, but I love the direction that the main member Matt is taking with the music. The band is listed as singer, songwriter, acoustic hip-hop on the Reverb Nation page, yet I can tell that the songs are well thought out with imagination and passion. Postcard from Veronica, awesome name by the way, broaches music creativity in a unique way that I would love to see, and I'd love to see them play live as well. Postcard from Veronica can be found on YouTube, Facebook, Reverb Nation, and on their band website. Music downloads are available on Reverb Nation. The band also has a mobile app that you can download on uh, for Android phones and listen to the music with over 200 downloads just titled Postcard from Veronica in the Android App Store. I haven't found any for iPhones, but I think they've just got it for the uh, the Android phone right now. And there's another thing to consider all you emerging bands and musicians out there. I know that uh, Reverb Nation has a program there for getting uh, apps for your music. 
it's something that you have to weigh out in your own mind. I know it's fairly expensive what they're charging on, uh, on Reverb Nation. So you've got to weigh that in the balance, but it will reach more people and considering everybody lives with their cell phone or their iPad these days, it, it's more attractive for people to get to your music quicker. Some people may not be aware of it, but yes, King Minion is a jazz fan. And I know there's lots of jazz fans that listen to the program here. One such person I'd like to make a dedication to for today's show is to Sarah in York, North Yorkshire, United Kingdom. And here's a great jazz band that does original jazz that I found that's in, of all places, Sweden. Sexy and seductive are the jazz sounds of Sweden's Alice and Bjorn and their song Don't Go. I love new emerging music from all genres, and when jazz is performed so well like the original songs by Alice and Bjorn, it is a blanket of audio comfort to me. 
from the Reverb Nation bio. A singer from Indonesia and a bass player from Sweden who share a passion for traditional jazz. Our mission is to carry on in the footsteps of the great musicians and to grow within this wonderful music genre with original material. On this journey, we are accompanied by the best musicians all over the world. We hope you like it. Well, we do, Alice and Bjorn. We do. Visit Alice and Bjorn on their band website, the blog, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Music downloads are available on the band website or on CD Baby. All of Alice and Bjorn's songs are superb, and they would be a great opening act for Diana Krall. Once again, it's tips for emerging bands and musicians. Small market television cable stations seem to be going the way of the 45 RPM single. Those TV stations that remain, the local independent broadcasters, can be the land of opportunity for bands and musicians. Have you ever listened to the music track on small town TV stations? You know, the pre-news pre-sports, pre-weather soundtrack. Some theme songs have been used for years, or worse, they use clips from GarageBand. Here's what you can do. Contact the program director of the TV station. Take them out for coffee. Take them out for lunch. Sell them on the idea of your band providing free music for their station or show. Before you guys get all up in arms, remember, free goes a long way in the world of networking. The benefits of networking can embed your band into many new music opportunities. In the pro advertising world, this is what you would call a lost leader. Getting TV station to use your band for music is the goal. You have a talented band and write great original songs. Use some of your songs as free fuel to power your career. TV advertising is expensive, but imagine the news anchor saying at the end of the newscast, and our new theme song is by the XYZ band performing at the ABC Club this weekend. Advertisers pay thousands of dollars to get that kind of exposure. Your band just got exposure for allowing the station to use your songs. Way to go. And don't forget the opportunity of music for local TV commercials. When you network today, don't think outside of the box. Think around the globe. Now here's a King King Minion Minion triple triple shot. shot. Three artists previously on the podcast return with new songs.
to Mexico and we kept our horses low in the hills trying to keep our silhouettes out of sight but in the end the Union they just wouldn't let us go so Kirby Smith said boys it's time to make a stand and there we did with our backs to the mighty Rio Grande I see the southern girls are crying But they ain't crying for you and me Because they'd rather be at one of those fancy balls in Memphis And all through the day We skirmished My horse was frothing And there was no hope of ever escaping this And then finally in the end, the captain, he did say, lay down your arms, boys. And there it ended. He died right under those great southern skies. And those southern girls are crying. But they ain't crying for you and me because they'd rather be at some fancy ball in Memphis. I 
I just want to go home, but it looks like I'm going to Mexico. is so great when past guests stop by for a visit. Share a tune and update on their musical journey. The first song of the triple shot was Heavy Side by the Honey Wilders from San Jose, California. Sales from their first CD, Singles for Singles, are going well, and you can get your copy at, on iTunes, sorry, uh, not iTunes, at CD Baby and iTunes. And I still love the this, this stuff. The, it's the 70s sound that they're doing there. Great stuff. The second song was The Battle of Palmato Ranch by Punky's Got Bucket. And for you history buffs, that was a real battle and disputed to be the final showdown of the American Civil War. Punky is in the studio right now, and if you want some sneak peeks at the new album, go to the music producers page, the Canadian Figaro Productions on Reverb Nation. There'll be a link on the blog. Go right through there and you can hear some of the new stuff that he's working on. The third song in the set was Fire Eyes by the Pond Hawks from Chicago, Illinois. Remember the days when buying an album or CD and all the songs were great? Well, then, Buy the Pond Hawks have landed on iTunes. You will not be disappointed. And that was just a reminder that the next two episodes of the King Minion Music Podcast will feature bands and musicians from Australia. It is the two special Oz-only bands episodes to spotlight the great emerging music talent from the land down under. 
Musicians around the world, have no fear. King Minion will feature you as well in future podcasts covering Europe, Russia, South America, and beyond the musical domain. Remember, if you can't wait for me to contact you, then contact me by email. King Minion Music Podcast at v one Music. .ca. We are going to close out today's episode with an artist from Lebanon, Ohio. Sometimes the creative songs of instrumental musicians are ignored. The songs are treated as background music, supplanted by the dazzling brilliance of film and video effect. The instrumental songs by the 1AM Project illustrate a story without words. Listen to the songs intently. Close your eyes, and with the introduction of each new instrument, another level of the story will play out in your minds. The 1AM Project is the brainchild of A. Mayant, who performs, records, and produces the music. Aya is the multi-talented, multi-instrumentalist composer of instrumental music. Aya's music mixes the genres of jazz, techno, ambient, and world to make a sound that is, in his opinion, his own. The 1AM Project currently has a self-produced debut album out called Reconstruction, and that is distributed through CD Baby and its digital distribution partners, iTunes, Amazon, MP3, Rhapsody, and Last.fm, etc. Aya's style of composition is to create simple melodies, harmonies, and themes which interweave, affect each other, and evolve into a complex whole. The 1AM Project can be found on Reverb Nation, Facebook, Twitter, and Bandcamp. Stop by and let the artist know how his music affected you. And this is where King Minion bids you adieu for this episode. Close your eyes and dream, for dreams are free. The reality we seek is the reality we create with all our senses reaching to a point of infinity. Thanks to all the artists on the show today. See you next time. This is the 1AM Project and the song A Flute for Nicole Marie.
The King Minion Music Podcast was brought to you by V1 Music, the boutique label with the big sound. Music played on the King Minion Music Podcast has been authorized by the songwriter or the songwriter's publishing agent.